there is a, a line between skepticism and outright stupidity, and you cross it about ten miles back. There is, um, it, it, I, I mean, you're just mind-bogglingly stupid. I mean, I, I don't, you should not be talking, okay? You need to go play with, your, like, you're the kind of person that should be outside, you know, kicking a ball around or, you know, enjoying a sunny day. You don't need to be in this, you don't need to try to be a thinker, man. It's not your fucking, it's not, you don't, you're not suited to it, okay? It's not you. You need to just go outside and eat some fucking ice cream and concern yourself with getting pussy and uh, all that stuff because this this whole thought thing is not happening for you. Sorry. Um, look, it's not the same. I mean, sure, it's it's conceivable. It is conceivable that all of reality is an illusion, and we should all keep our minds open to that possibility. However. It's such a remote, it's such a remote possibility. I mean, there's no, I mean, <clears throat> when you look at things rationally and you say, okay, either things, are, either I'm perceiving things, I may not be perceiving them exactly as they are, but I am perceiving something that is occurring outside of my own consciousness, or you could say that everything is occurring within my own consciousness. And, uh, the form, I mean, the, both are possible, but the former is a lot more likely for reasons that are, are obvious to anyone who actually has a brain. I mean, there's no, I mean, what, if a, if a mind in a vacuum is not going to be able to conceive of these kind of things, I mean, you know, if you're just a consciousness that's floating around listlessly in the void, there's no, there's no, there's no chance to to start conceiving of, of a complex reality. There's no need to. You, your your consciousness would just wilt and die in that sort of environment. <coughs> and spontaneous creation is just, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous as the notion of God. I mean, so I think the possibility. I mean, you you have things reversed. The possibility of God and the possibility that we're all just imagining everything are about as likely. The possibility, now, the possibility that everything is maybe not exactly as we perceive it, I mean, because, I mean, things like colors are not uh, real, they're just uh, a matter of us perceiving um, the photons bouncing off of things in uh, different densities and such, but, <coughs> but we're perceiving an actual event. We're not perceiving it as being what it actually is, we're perceiving it in some other way but it's still something that's actually occurring. It's still something that's occurring outside of us. There is a universe out there. There are other entities. There are other people. We are all distinctive beings. We all have our own little thoughts and our own little feelings. We are biologically similar, but we're not biologically identical, and we're certainly not part of one consciousness. And um, I think that the whole of reality testifies to that. I mean. Any sort of, it's the same argument that you can make against God. Okay, if there, if this was a, if this world was created, it wouldn't be created so imperfectly. There's, there's too much idiosyncrasy here to, to say that this was the, that this is a part of a conscious or unconscious even will. It's, it's just a ridiculous notion. You're just, all you're doing is saying, you're, you're just using the same logic that Christians use for God, only instead of God, you're saying yourself. You're just putting yourself in the in the role of the God, and everything else is just has the same exact fallacies that any religious God has. The only difference is that you know you exist, because you're surely familiar with the quote, I think, therefore I am, because you seem like you're a Descartes fan. You probably haven't actually read anything he wrote, but I'm sure you know who he is. You probably read his little article on Wikipedia, so you know that uh, he believed that he he didn't believe. Now, th one of the misconceptions that a lot of little angsty um, pseudo philosophers have about Descartes was that he actually believed that there that reality was an illusion. That's not the case. He was just saying that it could be. That's all he was saying. He was just kind of deconstructing things to see what he could actually conclusively prove. And he realized the only thing he could prove existed was his own thought. Because 
that's all I mean we know that we are perceiving things we know that we are experiencing things so we know that that's real everything out other everything outside of that is suspect but saying it's possible and saying it's at all even remotely likely are completely different things so um, I don't think that uh, I'm being at all unreasonable because I think that things are because I think that reality exists <clears throat> I think that you're being extremely unreasonable by even proposing that as a as a viable uh, idea and um, I'm sorry that uh, I'm sorry to everyone that this video is so boring and everything but uh, it's just it kind of bothers me and uh, I just had to address it so thank you very much for listening and uh, more crazy ranting stuff later I guess peace